Cool. Okay, so today we're going to go over a couple of specialty techniques associated with the guillotine choke. Now, yours truly, guillotine choke, is my favorite choke of all time. Everybody's got their own special techniques. I've always loved the guillotine. I think the reason I love the guillotine choke is because I can land it really easy. It's freestyle wrestlers, right? Uh, just, just who I am. Uh, one person quit me one time. The, the, I was the first person to execute a jumping, grabbing guillotine choke. I just love the guillotine choke. Right? So, in theory, what a guillotine choke is is if I come here, I strike, or he comes. Sometimes I'll come like this. I always go for the head. I don't know what it is. I'll come here and I'll grab. It. Now from here, a typical motion that that we'll do when we've seen these. One of the A uh, and uh, one of the bare fundamentals. We'll see what we'll throw to home and off. Or sometimes I'll just sit and we're going to know. I'm going to go really nicely on Jimmy. I've got his head crank out of his neck crank. Yeah. Jimmy's mom's got my number. Don't want to call. Right. So a lot of times if he gets in close, I can't throw him. I might just throw deep here. I grab around here. I'm landing here. And you know, I'll get these these here. All right, I go arch. That's a typical guillotine. Number one, I can throw it. I can keep watching with it. I can do a lot of things. Let's say Jimmy knows me. Right? Jimmy says, I ain't gonna allow him to do that. Let's say Jimmy's a big dude, right? Because one of the things about a guillotine is if I'm here, I don't have to go down. If Jimmy's a little shorter than I am, sometimes I can just arch my back and I can just, I can just do that. If Jimmy's tall, I can arch from day one. It's a tall person's throw, or choke, not a short person's throw. So if I'm here and I go to Joe, Jimmy goes, uh-oh. I've seen this movie, I ain't playing this, right? So Jimmy pushes out, right? And so we're here, I can't land here, then all of a sudden Jimmy goes to sprawl, right? So Jimmy sprawls out, and we get here, right? So now I've still got his head, but Jimmy's sprawling, trying to get out. Now, what we'll do is we'll call this a forward roll choke, where I take this hand, right? It's around the chin, so you notice the place from here, you can see it. This hand goes to the chin and it breaks here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use his chin and I'm going to wrench on his neck and I'm going to roll. Now the important thing, no. His neck is going to go here, my hand is going to be in his chin. As we roll over, my head is going to pin up against his shoulder. Right? Very important action because I don't want him to get away. So I'm here, right? I go here, I wrench up, I roll, and I'm here. Now you know, right where my head is. My head is pinning against his shoulder here. Then all of a sudden, what you're going to notice, this hand's here, we lock. The nice thing is, he can't strike me very well, right? Because I've got this head, hand here. He can't hit me with this hand because I've got this locked. So from here, what you'll notice is I'll crank in and then wrench, right? And you'll notice I've got control. And that is defense against the swap. Yeah. 